Hello, welcome on in. I am Kirsten or Flamingon. I'm very, very pleased to be here with you for a weird Wednesday stream. Um, <laughs> I It's a weird, weird week overall. Um, one of our mods, Lush, has a birthday on Friday. So um, over in Diego and Milagros' household, we've got like back-to-back -back birthdays. And I was like, okay, let's let's do both of those together, right? So um, let me just pop on in. Uh, here's Milagros. Um, oh, she's so cute. I love her. The squishable face. Um, Diego, beautiful, wonderful. Uh, we've got Vanessa, who is one of the two aging up. Hey, sweet Vanessa. Um, Oscar is the other. Oscar is actually Valentina's eldest child, but has been raised as Vanessa's twin. Um, and then the youngest is Maria. Sweet little Maria. They all have a really, really good mix. But I think, you know, truly, if this were a game of Among Us, he is not sus at all. He is definitely, like, easily fit into the household. Um, I've got to pop out shortly for therapy. Doggo is starting to lick his wound a lot, so I've been busy trying to keep him safe. Oh, that, that sounds... Like a good day, though. I think therapy is always quite tiring, um, but especially if like you're in the space for it where it's going to be helpful. Oh, we love it. And I'm glad that you're able to keep a close eye on Doggo. I'm watching but not listening. Hope you have a lovely stream. You're valued and appreciated. Thank you, Platt. That means so much. Love you, Platt. Is Valentina staying in America with the kids now? No, not yet. Um, to my knowledge... We're not going to move her over to America until closer to 1940, um, but we're, we're getting there. So right now, um, Diego and Milagros, they've got Vanessa and Maria, but they also, they had adopted uh, Oscar. So as far as Valentina is aware, right, like everything's good in Japan, they're happy in Mount Komorebi. Everything's good. Everything's great. Um, but that'll change soon enough. And we'll probably have Valentina and her two boys, um, you know, Haru and Nietzsche, um, move into the farmhouse in Oasis Springs, at least for a little Oasis Springs in Strangerville to live with Noah and Marjorie for a while. Um, I'm going to go have Vanessa blow out her candles and then we're going to just put candles back on the cake. Let Oscar blow them out as well. I do love these little babes. I am going to get headline effects off. I got to take a picture, right? I always have to. Oh, table, please. Thank you. Okay. Sweet little Vanessa. Vanessa was the first of um, all of the grandchildren for Noah and Marjorie. Um, and she, oh, speaking of, Marjorie sent Vanessa a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail. She was a bookworm and now she's a bookworm and romantic. Okay, that's very sweet. And um, if you've got a Siri, just like keep it under wraps for a sec. I'm going to ask her a question. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, um, fifteen. Okay. Hey Siri, please pick a number between one and fourteen. Okay. Eight, three, six, seven, eight. Knowledge. Ooh. Okay. Siri, please pick a number between one and four. Three. One, two, three. Computer whiz. Hmm. I'm playing games to careers. Okay, that's maybe not perfect. I might do Renaissance Sim. Yeah, Renaissance Sim or Nerd Brain. Uh, I'm just going to ask again. Please pick a number between one and two. Okay, Nerd Brain it is. Okay, we're going to pop into cast with her in a minute. I will also add a Bork because Timothy is like, Nah, nah, this is not fine. Let's add a couple more candles, please, so we can age Oscar up. 
and then we'll we'll pop into cast with the both of them. Oh my god, the piercing, the belly top, the sarong, everything, right? Just perfect for 1936. Delightful. Okay, Oscar. <laughs> and a pick for Oscar. My little guy, I legitimately, I don't think I would ever tell Oscar about his true parentage. Like, he has such an ideal life, a really supportive family. Truly, we love to see it. Apple Borfna, here we go. Um, okay, he's a dog lover and neat. Okay, cute. And we're going to do the same thing. Hey, Siri, please pick a number between 1 and 14. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Six. Please pick a number between 1 and 6. Three. Ooh, a party animal. Okay, you know, that actually really tracks. Just considering that uh, he is a child of the 20s, right? His parents were party animals. That's very, very interesting. Thank you, Siri. Okay. And we are going to pop into Cass. Um, it's nice to see that aging up works for them. I, I think we had even baked a cake for Kenichi when we were aging him from a toddler into a child, and it just didn't work at all. Teresa sent Oscar a gift. Nice. Okay. Hey, Coffee, how is it going? We just aged up Oscar and Vanessa over in Diego's household. Um, hard to believe we have teenagers. Um, just buck wild. Hey, Ava, yes! Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see Vanessa. Um, okay, here is Oscar, who's one of Valentina's boys. What can I say? Valentina, she makes some good boys. Um, let me make sure he has no accessories. Classic. Okay. Yeah, of course. The nose ring. How are you doing today, Coffee? Have you had breakfast yet? I sort of like this hair as well. Um, I might just quickly do a Google. Um, 1936. Um, men's hair. Uh, it does seem to be sort of like slicked back. There are some slightly more pomade looks, but definitely like short, sort of like shorn down at the sides. Um, let's see what we've got. Just woke up a few minutes ago. Ooh, okay. Coffee. Honestly, we do love to see it. So this is pretty accurate, actually. Just, you know, the sort of shave on the side. This is definitely more 50s with the height. Um, what else? Oh, God. The Moschino one is not... It's just not it, babe. Actually, okay. This one's maybe my favorite one so far for him. Um... I don't mind that one. Were you up reading manga, Coffee? What was happening? Um, yeah, that one again. We have a lot of hairs where it's like buzzed on the bottom and then sort of just like a beaver tail up top, eh? A beaver tail up top, eh? Up top. Um, this one honestly might be it. Okay. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Give me a sec. Ooh. ooh. Okay. <laughs> We're back. Okay, my guy. Um, let me see. I honestly, I'm a little behind on my custom content. I have not been actively adding it into the game or anything. Oh, he's so sweet. Little guy. Okay, Oscar. 
I do really like this. Um, I'm gonna give him a nice little watch, maybe, you know, something that Noah passed over. Um, like the gift that Marjorie sent could have been watch or whatever. We'll get some socks. My little man! Um, and it's like definitely knitwear. I was talking with friends, then it was 3 a.m., then started watching YouTube, then it was 4 a.m. I've been there. <laughs> oh, thank you, coffee. Yeah. Okay, super cute little guy. We'll also get a little bit of body hair. Um, I don't know why match hair was like, yeah, he's got orange hair. Um, just a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit, just cause he's a teen, just a little bit. Man, I'm still not over how cartoonish some of the hair is. I, I get, I get that it is cartoonish, but just a little bit. Okay. Uh, formal wear. Put together a cute little little outfit honestly might just be like a little sweater boy i see him as being quite preppy um i could definitely see oscar just given that he's like party animal as being quite of a like a popular lad um popular lad oh my god oh actually you know that's quite cute um Again, give him his little wristwatch. Um, yeah, I'm into it. I'm into that. I could see him maybe being on the football team. So let me see if we have any of that. Yeah, where, um, where Kenichi certainly, I think, I keep calling Kenichi my little nerd. <laughs> where I think he's like sensitive and you know loves music and wants to focus on logic Oscar's like old school football helmet boom boom ba -da -dum, da -da -dum, right like I, I could see that um I've been doing this for the past few days I think I'm gonna have to move my practice stream to another day that's not next week because you're heading to your aunt's ooh Okay, that's exciting coffee. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. You could always do it once you're back from your aunts. It doesn't have to happen immediately, for sure. I actually do like the blue there. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to see. I might have to look up. It feels like such a specific thing. Um, 1940 football outfit question mark okay yeah it is sort of what i expected we've got helmet the sort of knee length pants um oh my gosh i guess i'll be streaming in april honestly april's a good month i think i think i probably started streaming in april or may ah uh, yep those are those are those hit the spot okay great Um, get a pair of these on. Oh, he even has the right shoes for it. <laughs> Legitimately, we love to see it. Let me see if we've got a football helmet. Honestly, this is sort of in line with what the old school football helmet looks like. But imagine... <laughs> Just imagine, though, you see him hurtling towards you. <laughs> Except he's just jogging in the Sims neighborhood. And he's got the helmet on. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it with the helmet. Um, <laughs> I think that's so silly. Oh, I love that, though. Okay, okay. Um... Let me also just look at this swatch. Ugh. I wish that they wouldn't mold breasts onto it.
just because I want him to have a longer sleeve jersey, but we cannot do it. Ooh, April's birthday month. Okay. I'm trying to think about what your star sign is. Are you a Taurus coffee? Um, oh, I might go into here to just grab. Yeah, that'll work. And a little, yeah, a little match set. See, yes, ooh, got it, got it in one. We love to see it. I think you've told me before you're a Taurus. That's probably why it was in my brain. All of the accessories, game. Okay, the pant boot combo is truly something else. We we love to see it. Um no 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 no. Okie dokie. Find a oh, I should put the masculine tag back on. And that's something else I actually have to do while we're in here. Um fashion choice masculine. I did roll. Um for all of the children that have been born so far in decades um, for gender and sexuality. Oscar, listen, this is wild to me. It's legitimately the first time we have had it. Oscar is cisgender heterosexual. A het in my game? <laughs> uh, I said it was a Taurus. Yes. I think, yeah. Is that not what I just said? Um, yes. So, no producing milk. He can stand for toilet. He has all of the physical frames. He's attracted to women. He is not exploring romantically, and he's only interested in messing around with women. I can't believe it. My first 100% just, like, heterosexual sim. Wild to me. Um, okay, we're gonna find like a nice sort of tucked in shirt. Honestly, something like this I could go for. Um, yeah, and then like some nice pants. Um, I do honestly like the brown. I mentioned it before when we were all talking about birthdays. Yes, yes, that's what I was saying. Um, that I thought you had mentioned it before. Um, hmm. Let me get rid of the party tag. I think I might want to use the Strangerville pants. Ooh, the, the Dream Home Decorator pants, honestly. It's between the Dream Home Decorator and Strangerville pants for me the majority of the time. I love the sort of vintage feel that they have. Um, yeah, extremely into those ones. Yeah, and I like that it's cut a little high above the ankle. Again, we'll get his little watch on. I am ignoring the fact that he's going to serve in World War II. That sort of fucks me up a little bit. Um, But again, it tracks. Yikes. Oh, no, I'm not going to ogle him. I'm not going to ogle him. We're moving past swimwear. Let's go. I want to buy for a cake for myself on the day. Yes, coffee, you absolutely should. What type of cake would you get for yourself? Um, La Mama is actually, she's bringing home groceries tonight and she's bringing a cake with her and it's going to be a carrot cake. I'm very excited. Um, I don't, is Easter this weekend? No, surely not. Let me just check. No, it's, uh, okay, Easter's two weekends away, but... I guess she's just like, okay, let's have carrot cake because it's the season. And I'm like, I could kill for carrot cake, right? Like, I love carrot cake. I'm gonna do. I actually sort of like that green shirt on him. Um, It's a vibe. Oh, you're, listen, chat might hate it. I'm going to get a hat on him as well. I love it though. I love it. I love it. I love it though. Sandals. Yes. Okay. I have three choices I like. Okay, let's hear them. Can I get a hat on my boy? Oh, 
That's a bad hat. Even even where I'm concerned, it's a bad hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Um. Okie dokie. Hey, Twitchy, how is it going? We aged up Oscar and Vanessa over in Diego's household. Um, so this is technically Valentina's oldest son. Um, Valentina is his birth mother, though um, he was adopted by his uncle and aunt. So, you know, she's only ever been his aunt, his auntie Valentina. Um, just trying to find... You know, I do like that. Doing good. Thanks for asking. Of course. I'm happy to hear you're doing well as well, though. Um, oh, oh, cheesecake, chocolate, or red velvet? <gasps> Coffee? Not gonna lie. You do strike me as a red velvet person. I also love red velvet. I think that I'm like literally foaming at the mouth thinking about it. Red velvet's so good. Cheesecake, though. I've grown to appreciate cheesecake. I wasn't as into it. I think I have to sneeze again. Oh my god, hold on. Yeah, I had to sneeze again. <laughs> okay, okie dokie, okie dokie. Find my boy, the boots! I don't love those. I might just... Oh, I do find shoes hard. I always tend to rely on the same sets just because I'm like, these are the easy, these are the easy choices, right? Um, I might give him just a sweater because it's not like he has to go outside and face the elements or anything. Okay, and Vanessa. Is your last run... Oh, in your last run of decades, how did you keep track of years? Or did you want do one year per stream? I can't remember. Okay, so one year per stream is definitely something we adopted here. Uh, what I used to do, because I had actually started last run of decades before streaming. Um, I, I think I set it so that each year in game would be four in game days. But I ended up um, in streaming, there were like streams where we would have like one year go on for a really, really long time because it was like harder to get that year to pass in game. Um, so I sort of ended up towards the end of decades. We f saw that like we could do three or four days per stream. And I was like, oh, it's almost easier to just do per stream. So it used to be that I counted four days in game and that was a year uh, and I kept an Excel spreadsheet <clears throat> um, of like year by year events. Oh my God, the sneezes are fucking me up. Okay, 1936, women's hair. I like red velvet, but with a hint of lime frosting. Ooh. I have never heard of that coffee. That does sound delightful though. Okay, we're gonna take a look at some of these hairs. Um, I looked up women's hair in 1936. Honestly, this might be one I should have gotten CC for. I thought I had more time before I was gonna have to get on women's hair CC. Um, we definitely have like no more bangs, very curly around the side. Like truthfully, this bowling day one is pretty good. Bowling night? Bowling night? Is that the pack? Yeah. Right? Um, this one would be good, but I've already given it to Maria. Um, hmm. I don't necessarily want to give her the same hair that her auntie has either. Um, welcome back, coffee. Twitchy Squirrel, let me know if you're back as well. Good! Welcome back! I'm sorry about those ads. Freaking Amazon. 
yes. So, um, it used to be that we would count out four days in game and that was a year. Um, but then, you know, some streams would end up being more than one year. Sometimes we would have like multiple streams be the same year. So it was like a little bit harder, but towards, um, towards like the 2000s in the game, I was like, oh, I'm noticing that it's pretty consistently three days that we can do per stream. So I just swapped over to doing, you know, each stream is a year. I am going to have to get hair, CC. I am really like not seeing anything I love. Yeah. For 19 late like late 1930s hair, I am really struggling. We definitely have like hair no longer bangs. Um and then it's sort of like all pin curled back. It's very pretty, um, but we do not have the variety for it in the game. Why not the messy braid on her? Uh, the messy braid. I don't know if I know which pack the messy braid is from, Coffee. I was trying to find something that felt more like 1930s hair. Um, I might, I might go with that just for a little while I am legitimately struggling to find the right hair that comes from the country pack mmm okay let me see um, packs cottage living um mmm you know coffee it's not 1930s, but I think it would be a good layover, especially since she's a younger teen right now. Um, I think we could certainly do that for a hot second and then maybe change over to, you know, more of a 1940s hairstyle when we get there. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's fun. Vanessa is actually quite cute. She has a lot, I think, of Milagros. But I love that she has the freckles. I did not put those freckles on her. That's extremely cute. Um, okay. And then let me just look up 1936 for women's fashion. Women's fashion. Um. Looks like very, very straight, um very narrow um some cute blouses i might just put her in cc clothes like just for now until you get new cc absolutely do you change the outfits every year no <laughs> i used to um i definitely used to do that but our family this time around is quite a bit smaller than um our first decades family and that is largely because it got so impossible to keep up with that I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, I like that pink one on her. Yeah, no. Uh, legitimately, I will only change people's outfits if there's like a massive shift in style. So right now, her whole household has clothing for like the 30s, um, they'll probably get a slight update for the 40s. I might give her little heels, just like little kitten heels. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, these two are only getting the royal treatment because they went from children into teens. So I have to give them completely new clothes. Um, hmm. What to give her here? I might just give her an older school dress and say like, oh, it was a hand-me-down because of the depression. We can't like afford something super new. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. And then when I get fresh CC, she can have fresh CC. Oh God, that's the one thing. I, 
I do want growing together. I still haven't gotten it yet. Um, but there does seem to be a handful of items in the growing together catalog. Oh, okay. I'm going to give that to her as her party wear and her, um, her formal wear. I keep forgetting I have those cute little blouses. Yeah, I can definitely give her slightly more casual vibes. Um. Yeah, no, oof. There are lots of things and I'll catch myself doing it and I'm like, Flam, why are you doing that? No one can see it but you, like it doesn't matter. I'll spend a long time like building an apartment or a house or something. And it's like, you are the only one who's ever going to see that, <laughs> right? Like, why are you spending the time to do that? Um, so I've definitely gotten better about it since the last time we played Decades, but I am, I'm not a hundred percent there. I saw it. I saw it come in. Otherwise, you probably would have gotten me coffee. Um. Hmm. I, it is the straight vibe. I just don't know if it's what I want. I get too picky. Bruh. I know. Sorry, coffee. Mmm. -hmm. Technically, we could do some pants. I would be into pants. Maybe not yet because she's such a young teen, but they do seem very practical. I would be into pants at some point. Um, forgot to tell you I found a job after looking for two months. Congratulations. Okay. Do you want to like share with the class? Do you want to keep it on the DL? I would love to know details if if you're open to sharing. Um, yeah, we'll do blue. Blue look good. Love blue. Barista job. Yes. Phenomenal. That's very exciting. Um, Should have done it earlier, but not. Nah, I went late. Yep. I'll always get you coffee. Now I know, though, what sort of color scheme we're going for here, so I can play around. Um, congrats. Yes, congrats. Absolutely. Honestly, barista job, it's fun. The snacks, the perks, we love to see it. Hey, Annex, how's it going? Welcome home. How are you feeling? Yeah, okay, Ava. She's so cool. Woo! Love your stream. Love you, Annex. I think you killed the stream. <laughs> so funny. He subscribed and the KBS go down. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, the flam internet really said I've got your money. Yeet! <laughs> okay, 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 we're back. Oh man. Oh gosh, that's so funny. Yes, no, Vanessa is super, super cool. I swear I didn't do anything. It was like... <laughs> it was like the KBS said, Ah, oh, we've got Annex's money. Yeet! <laughs> How are you feeling today, Annex? How are you doing? Ah. Okay, that's super cute. I do like this full body look. Um, I might still just give her a little nighty though. The blue is such a look though. Twitch really said stream go down, punish viewer with ads. Fuck. Oh. Fucking Twitch. Well, Annex, how does it feel to know you're the only one without ads right now? Pretty good, I would think. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, no. How are you doing today, Annex? How are you feeling? Um, are you nestled back up at home? It was only two ads, all good. Oh good, I'm glad. Legitimately, we hate to see that. I'm gonna have to look into the ad settings and make sure that like, or see if there even is a way where if we go down, it won't just do ads. You did your time, you're good. I just like complaining. Listen, I feel that. Yeah, no, it is worth complaining about ads. Uh, yeah, cute. Um, honestly, I am getting lazy and I sort of want to get out of the household. So. Okay, I'm leaving again. <laughs> hey, hey, before you leave again, Annex, how about a picnic? We're going on a picnic. We're going to see if Streamlabs punishes Annex for subscribing. Um, if you'd like to join us on the picnic, right? Giving Flam a sub always causes issues. <laughs> if you'd like to join us on the picnic, all you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000 that I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh, Annex. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yes. Vanessa, listen, Nessa. Okay, I like the sweater. We can pair that with like a super cute little skirt. Yas! Okay, oh, listen, the color match, we love to see it. Again, it's like I can do pretty basic looks for them um, because they live out in Oasis Springs. They don't really have to worry about the cold. Super cute though. And Vanessa is going to look even that much cooler once we give her like 1930s hair. But that is Vanessa, who's the eldest grandchild of Noah and Marjorie. And then um, Oscar, who's Valentina's oldest child, her oldest son. I really, really like his profile. He's super cute. Um, he's a cutie. <laughs> All grown up. Okay. Again, if you're lurking and want to join us on the picnic, all you have to do to join it is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. I think I'm probably going to have to sneeze again. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's like I can feel it right in the top of my face. Is that weird? Um, oh, only packed enough sandwiches. Oh. Only packed enough sandwiches for some of the chat. It's Annex, Twitchy, and Flam. No picnic sandwich for coffee, though I'm happy to share with you. That's so rude. Bezos! Okie dokie. Okay. I am gonna put birthday candles back on here <laughs> and I am gonna yeet it into the fridge so we can use eventually if and when we come back I'm probably gonna do a tiny little makeover in the house I could do it now I could do it now it'll be super quick it'll be super quick it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine I just I want to add a second bed in here. We'll say that this is Milagros and um, and Maria's bedroom and that they're sharing, right? We got two girls, share the room. Um, super cute. I think it's, yeah, honestly, it's not that childish. It's pretty cute. Um, I think probably we could swap. Hmm. Okay. We're going to get a longer little thing in here. Welcome back. Bless. Bless you, Ma. I didn't get picnic and then I got ads after. Oh man, the whammy, the one two punch. We're just doing a tiny little update so that uh, all of the children have beds in this household. Um. 
That way, Vanessa and, um, Vanessa and Maria, I got it, I got there. Uh, they each have one. Love the colors in here. I do too, thank you, Twitchy. Hey, oh my gosh, Mel, hello, how are you doing? Yes, and welcome back from ads. Um, we'll get a second lamp in here. Slightly different vibe, I think, but right, each girl has a bed. We've still got the toys in there. The, the room that really needs an update is over here, which I imagine is probably Oscar's bedroom because it's all toys right now. Like toys and baby stuff. Um, sorry, Diego. Yeet. Okay. <laughs> we'll get uh, a nice single bed in here for Oscar. I actually do really like that one. Um, and I like the idea of it having like, oh, wait. There's another one we could use that would be really, really cute. Um... Where the heck is that one? It was from Cats and Dogs. I feel like I'm totally glancing over it. There it is. It's basically the same bed, but it has like uh, a quilt. And I think that would be sweet if like, you know, um, Marjorie knitted him a quilt or something. I think that's really, really, really cute. Um, sorry for ruining stream, but I got sandwiches. <laughs> Listen, Annex. You're one of our prized subscribers. Of course you get a sandwich. Why would you not get a sandwich on the picnic? Um, I'm doing great, but could you please call me Farah? Right, ah, oh, right, thank you. It's, it's been a hot second, Farah, so I, I forgot, of course. Um, have to learn how to type. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Is that my fave hottie Diego? Yes, it is, Dino. Hello. He's giving you the side eye. He's like, oh, Dino's here. Um, we were literally in here to age up Oscar and Vanessa. They're both teenagers now. Here's Vanessa at the table. It would be easier if I was in live mode. Vanessa's super cute. And then Oscar, also cute. We're just making sure they've got like all the accoutrements that they need in their bedrooms. Um, and Oscar, because he's the only boy, gets his own bedroom. Lucky boy. Let's give him the same lamp as his sisters. Vanessa is adorable. Yeah, she's really got a good mix of Diego and Milagros. Um, move objects on. Make sure we're gonna get that over here. Cute, 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 cute. I'm thinking Farah. Yeah. Coffee, Farah. Um, Farah used to be around uh, quite a bit more, but then, you know, was doing uh, boxing with their friends and stuff and uh, really going through it in school. So it's it's been a second, you know Farah. Uh, okay, now, Oscar is a party animal. Let's get him closet, yeah? Or like a dresser. I'm just trying to think about what, what the vibe is. Um, honestly, we've got one of those in the girls' room. Maybe? Let me see if I like the colors. I do like it having the curtains over top. I feel like that's so cute. Um, okay, I do like the dark. And I will see about putting a chair in here. That way he can like read. Super boring. Um, and I think it would be nice because Diego of course runs a vet clinic. Uh, one of Oscar's big things is that he loves dogs. It would be nice to maybe get a second dog and specifically a dog for Oscar. Right? Little, little doggy he can have in his room. Um, 
Let me see if there's anything else I would need. Right, Diego runs a vet clinic. It's like, okay, let's give Oscar some responsibility. Let's make sure he has a friend, especially because he's like a party animal. They're like, what can we do to make him responsible? <laughs> do we think if Valentina had had a dog, she would have had Oscar so early? I don't know. Um, but I think it could be nice. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, no, getting a dog. I think that's reasonable. Um, business, is it there? Um, buy a vet clinic. We already own one. Um, I am, I'm actually doing a lot better with the reorganized, um, UI for conversations and stuff than I am with this phone. The phone I still can't do it. Call adoption agency? Like, would that help with dog? I thought it used to, oh my God. Okay. Hire a service is where it used to be. It must be call adoption agency now. Yeah, okay, adopt dog. I don't know, but I struggle with the phone too. Yeah. Um. I think of how to say it indifferently. Ah, no, 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 it's Farah. We've, we've had that conver- we've had the confirmation, Coffee. Um, not Farah, Farah. Um, okay. Oh, listen, Hasley, that's a big dog. A Chow Lab, Shetland Sheepdog, Border Collie named Loki. Bichon Freeze named JJ. Fifi, oh, I don't need another Yorkshire Terrier, thank you. Scottish Terrier, Black Russian Terrier. Oh, Pixel, the Pitbull. Squee, a Jack Russell, okay. Stripe is also a Pitbull. And then Turtle, oh, it's gotta be Turtle. Welsh Springer Spaniel. It's between, okay, Pixel the Pitbull or Turtle, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. I'm going to open a poll very quickly. Um, I want chat to vote. Which puppy? Pixel. Girl. <laughs> or um, Turtle. Turtle. Turtle boy. Uh, and we're going to just run that for like a minute. Super short poll. Let me know which dog. Which dog better? Pixel, the Pitbull puppy. Or Turtle, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Do you keep the name? Um, For Pixel, we would probably rename her. Maybe something like Pixie. Um, Turtle, I think the name is iconic. It would have to be Turtle. <laughs> um. I was spelling differently. Ah, yes, yes, of course, coffee. I'm also maybe gonna refill the water. Oh, usually I don't adopt puppies. I'll just like adopt a full dog. But these puppies are extremely cute down here. I think even Stripe, the pit bull puppy is cute, but really Pixel and Turtle have my heart. Um, and Diego's a vet, right? Like, it's fine if we have two dogs. Okay, and the poll is ending. Turtle wins. Turtle with complete domination. Okay. Let's get Turtle. Bessie's like, really? Another dog? Are you sure? <laughs> Let me... Oh, and Bessie's like, I'm gonna go in that bed. That's where I want to be. Okay, Oscar, go do a respectful introduction. Go see Turtle. Let's go. Let's go meet Turtle. Let's go meet Turtle. Come on. Oh, she's coming to us. Cool. Um, work is super busy today, so I met. Ah, oh, Dino. Here I was hoping that because it was a Wednesday rather than a Thursday stream, we'd catch you on an off day. Oh, a hug. Okay. Can I go see Turtle? Oh, there he is. 
He's so little, little turtle soup. Okay. Friendly introduction to turtle, please. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Wait, is she pregnant? No. No, surely you're not pregnant. Oh, my God. He's so little. He's so little. Okay, I'm just obsessed with turtle. Once I finish a few of these tasks, I'll be able to tune in. Still have another meeting at 3 or 3.30. Wow. Honestly, Wednesday is always my day off. But usually I'm like between work projects or, you know, taking the down day from stream. But because I'm seeing Pika tomorrow, I was like, fuck, okay, we gotta, gotta get it in today. I want to be friends with someone, but they don't really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Okay, we're asking Milagros. Just keep being friendly. Your stream surprised me. No kidding, Annex. Yeah, I was saying right at the top. Well, fucking turtle. He's so cute. Um, we were planning to stream. I gotta add that, Bork. Timothy, I was gonna cover for you. You nerd. Um, I was gonna have to cancel stream tomorrow because I have plans to see Pika who um who usually works a nine to five but she has like oh turtle growled at me um get to know perhaps turtle is not the one for us he is very little and cute how dare you intervene with my plans of not doing anything <gasps> turtle's aggressive should we <gasps> wait what the fuck is happening? <gasps> you! The adoption lady destroyed the toy house! Are you kidding me? And now you're playing guitar. She's like, well, I destroyed the toy house. Here's Wonderwall. Turtle is smart, but aggressive. Only one solution, kill her. If I had MCC, I would immediately turn her into a ghost. I am gonna repair that, and I'm going to have to comfort. <sighs> oh my god. I am looking forward to getting out of this household where there are like two dogs in a minute. He is hopping and skipping around. He's very cute. We're getting him. We're getting him. I love him, okay? Turtle is a king. We're adopting him. Yeah, we're getting him. We're getting him. I don't care that he's aggressive. He can grow out of it. He's really cute. He skips around. I want to get out of this house as fast as possible. We will adopt Turtle. And we'll... <laughs> We're going to keep naming him Turtle. Okay, little baby Turtle. Classic. Okay, and I will add another Bork because my brother is moving around down there and Timothy hates it. He says, no, that's illegal. He, he's doing little borks. Okay. She's like, let me sing in front of the dollhouse. That she destroyed is the big deal. Okay, I'm going to also kick her out of my house. Go away. Go away. I really do love Diego. Okay, fuck. I got to hold on. I don't know why he was barking. Um, evidently. Oh, what are you doing? Hold on. Oh, she's so pretty. I gotta get a picture. Frickin' Vanessa, I swear. Oh, I'm too low. Gotta jump up. And down. There we go. She's so pretty. talking to herself in the mirror. She's so cute. A picture of her in the mirror. I love her. Okay, Diego and Milagros have a beautiful daughter. I love that it sort of looks like a picture of her. Ah. Oh. Legit obsessed. Mean. Yeah. So cute. She's so cute. Okay. And then Maria I think Maria probably looks the most like Milagros. Um, she's playing because Daddy fixed her dollhouse 
after the mean dog lady, <laughs> the mean dog lady came in and destroyed it. Uh, and otherwise, we're all perfectly happy we have a new dog. Yeah, celebrate doggy for meeting new dog friend. Yeah, Oscar is very, very pleased. Okay, sweet Oscar. Oh, I'm inside the stove. Okay. There you go, my boy. We're gonna leave now because I don't want to have to deal with this many sims. The reason I recommended the hairstyle is because she helps her dad take care of the animals. Yes, I think it's a very, very good reason. It's a practical braid, right? Tied back out of the way. Um, legitimately, they live next door to the vet clinic. I think it's a very good, very good thought. I just realized I forgot to do Vanessa's pronouns and uh, set their woohoo interests. That's okay. That's okay. I can do that later. This is fine. Yeah, I was just like so, so astounded by the fact that we have our first like, yeah, you heard woohoo. Yeah, I, um, I always roll to determine um, gender identity and woohoo interests. Um, so when they aged up to teens, I was like, oh, I can set these because I've known what they are for a while. Oscar is the first cisgender heterosexual sim we have officially had in the game. So I was like, wah! Um, I believe Vanessa is non-binary, which it's going to be really interesting to see that in like the 40s. I figure she could probably become like a land girl. Yeah, cisgender old white men named Oscar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. So weird um, that Oscar and Vanessa, like I had I had zoomed in on um, Valentina's new baby Haru. And I was like, oh, he's like our first boomer in the game. What's weird to me is the boomers haven't even been born in the game yet. I think boom happens during the 40s. When does the baby boom start? Yeah, 1946 and 1964. Meaning, realistically, um, Kenichi, Oscar, or Haru, like their children will be the baby boomers. Wild to me. Oh, 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 because I was playing in another household. Hiroki's late for work. Fuck. Uh, well, it, it doesn't make sense to go to work now, right? He's only 20 minutes away from the end of his shift. Um, let me just business take vacation day. He'll probably be able to do that in the time it takes. I'm comfortable. From what? I don't understand my sims. Honestly, they confuse me. Is it from over here? Replace the water and mop? Like, why is the baby outside? There's so much I don't, I don't understand. Why are you all awake? Don't let the baby drown. <laughs> Don't let the baby drown. Where would the baby drown? Oh, in my beautiful custom well that spits water that I made out of debug pieces? Is that where the baby would be in trouble? <laughs> Yeah, illy too, Dino. Okay, let me open a picnic. We're opening a picnic in honor of my beautiful custom. Uh... <laughs> We're opening a picnic. Uh, to join the picnic, all you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. This picnic is 100% in honor. <laughs> uh, okay, baby is crawling around, enjoying himself, cooing with mama. He's very cute. I am legit obsessed with this little man. Okay, uh, we've done our homework. We're blasting music. 
The picnic is sponsored by Potential Baby Unaliving. No! Okay, you. He's out here blasting music. Go upstairs, go to bed. Go to bed. You're done your homework, go to bed. Kenichi, go to bed. Hiroki, honestly, your needs are pretty good. Picking up the baby. Phenomenal. We do have a picnic going. If you'd like to join us on the picnic, all you have to do, exclamation mark picnic, space, enter any amount of points up to 10,000. He is a really, really sweet baby. I cannot imagine playing with more than one- <gasps> What was that?! I'm so sorry for yelling! Holy shit, what was that?! <laughs> oh my god, did you see that?! <sighs> what was that?! <laughs> what? What? What just- uh, What was that?! Yeah! <sighs> okay, that's it. That's the end of stream. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. I got I got chased out of here by a very scary baby. Holy shit! Wow! <laughs> okay! And the picnic. Okay, we're back from the picnic. Um, it's Dino, Twitchy Squirrel, and Coffee. Annex and I got trapped by the demon baby. Maybe we should put the baby in the well. Oh my god, what was that? I've never seen that happen in the game. Baby's making his way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're homebound. I subbed and lost a picnic. <laughs> yes, but you won a picnic first. Dino, thank you for clipping that. Oh my god. I, I've never seen something like that in Sims. The only time, funniest thing I've seen in Sims in a long time. Yeah, wow, tall baby. Oh. Tall baby is my sleep paralysis demon, yeah. I've also been testing food on the baby uh, and he hates most everything he eats. Last episode of Flame and Sauce, oh my God. Let's try some crushed tomato, wait, crushed carrot. Carrot and tomato are different. I also clipped it. Oh, excellent coffee. <laughs> I could turn that into my own personal sound alert and just jump scare myself with yell. Okay, little baby, do you like it? Do we, have we found something baby like yet? Ah, he doesn't look like he hates it. Haru loves carrots. Good! Okay, little man like carrot. Ah, oh, good. Amazing being from adoring someone. And now we're being messy. Okay. I'm gonna get this little guy to bed as soon as we feed him. It was the most Canadian thing for screaming and immediately apologizing to all of us for yelling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was like... I legitimately got jump scared and then had to go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope my jump scare did not scare you. <laughs> oh, only mods can post links. Ah, good point. Oh man, oh man, okay. Uh, let me cuddle this little man and then go put him to bed. But coffee, you can absolutely post that clip over in the Discord. I will watch it after stream. Oof. Gonna put her to bed. Where's Valentina? She just sneakily came up to bed without telling me. Placed it in Discord just in case. Perfect. Thank you, coffee. Okay, the baby moodlets are all very cute. Love being held from being snuggled. Loved from receiving affection. Yummy from trying a loved food. Sleepy, low energy. Want night night in three hours. Okay, let's get that boy in the bed, please. We might have to... Oh, is he just going to drift off easily? Because that would be ideal. I think he will. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. He's still awake. 
he's stretching. No, I think we do have to uh, soothe him to sleep just to get him to go to bed. Um, and then we'll go to bed. I have been doing okay with infants. I am not finding them super, super difficult, but I've only been playing with one. So, it seems like legitimately the only thing, I'm never able to get his sleep bar full. Um, which, this tracks. Infants sleep a lot. Um, okay, I'm gonna wake Kenichi up in a minute so he can have some breakfast. Come on, Kenichi, go downstairs. This seems to be the everyday routine, is that Kenichi has to just eat breakfast all on his own while his parents are asleep um, because of baby. Aggressive baby for the night! Yeah, he is aggressive. Um, he wants his sleep, right? He's doing really, really well right now on everything. I'm just going to leave him asleep until his hunger gets to about halfway. Um, Val could stand to get up soon, too. I have sort of just had to accept the fact we're never going to have full needs as long as we have an infant here. Um, it would be great if... Nope, never mind. I thought Valentino was going to put on a house coat or something, but... Oh, cool! A bot! Amazing! Let's just, uh, get that... Ooh, banned. Get out of here. Excellent. 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 Good. Okie dokie. Hi, bot. Right? Classic bot. Okay. Val. BRB. I'm gonna make something to drink. Sounds good, coffee. You know you're famous if you get bots. <laughs> Thank you, Annex. Yes, of course. Okay. Kanichi, you're so sweet. He's got class today. He is a B student. He's doing well, and he's taking a school project that he worked on with his dad. Um, so hopefully that will also help. But um, let's put on everyday wear, please. I start writing an email for one second. Sleep on a freaking bot. I should be ashamed as a mod. Absolutely not. You're doing great as a mod. I can also see the bot. I can deal with it. We were fine. You're great. Oh, Val is thinking about Diego, which honestly tracks. It's so, I really like this whole thinking about a family member interaction. Um, the fact that it was just Oscar and Vanessa's birthday. Of course she's thinking about Diego. Oh, we doing okay in there? I thought you were going to go pee, Bubby. I was about to shame Dino, but I remembered I'm also a mod. <laughs> oh, Ava. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, Val is cleaning up her breakfast. I'll probably get her dressed, go out in the garden. Honestly, it really does seem like the Sims team said, oh, we all have young children. We're going to try to make this as close to reality as possible. She has to sleep while the baby is sleeping or get work done while the baby is sleeping. When the baby is awake, the only priority is the baby. Val is cool. And honestly, she's doing a very good job of keeping her family alive. <laughs> we absolutely stand. Meanwhile, Hiroki's like, oh, hey, babe. Thanks. Thanks for the leftovers. I'll, I'll have some leftovers. Beauteous Garden. Ava, have you not seen the new house? We we moved house. We live out in the country now. Um, here we are. We were able to afford everything and we still had like nine, nine simoleons, 9,000 simoleons left over. So we've got like two story house. Everybody has their own bedroom. Uh, Val planted a whole new garden. So we've got tomatoes, spinach, uh, green beans, green peas, um, watermelon, lettuce, blackberries, strawberries, an herb garden. Legitimately, Val crushing it, right? Using that, uh, <laughs> that farm girl knowledge. <laughs> okay, uh, we, and we will get our laundry away. It's so idyllic. Yeah. I love it. What world is this? Oh, this is Mount Komarebi. We are in the uh, 
I think it's Wakaba, the Wakaba neighborhood in Mount Komorebi. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's sort of a suburban uh, country a little bit. Uh, we've got like a city center over here. Wakaba forever. <laughs> yes, Annex, exactly. I see now I need to play more in this world. It's gorgeous. Yes, that is something else. I um. Oh, hello, Yamachan. Um, that was something I was saying literally last stream and that I'm really, really glad with decades this time around. I wasn't planning on being in Mount Komorebi quite this early in decades, but I'm glad we are. Um, it was my intention to spend more time here because it's gorgeous and it's a world that I haven't played a lot with. Um, okay, he's doing peepees. Good. Um, and then what can you do for fun? What, what do you like to do? Adventurous, cheerful, outgoing. Oh, it's his birthday. Oh my gosh. Hiroki is aging into an adult today. Well, that's fun. Wow. I didn't realize that he was older than we are. Okay, well, we'll have to make him a, a cake. I'm going to send him, I think, on a little jog um, just to get him out of the house. Valentina could probably make a cake at some point. Um, beautiful. And the baby is still doing okay. So, again, we're allowed to be people while the baby is asleep. Love to see it. I do love a good garden as well, though. and. Um, I had thought back when we thought Teresa was going to be the heir. Chat loved Teresa. I was so sure she was going to take it. I had always thought that Valentina would probably be the sibling that would take over the farm over in Strangerville. I was like, oh, you know, like she's quite domestic. Um, she was always really helpful outside. The knowledge from entrepreneur skill. Ooh, interesting. Um, so it makes sense to me that she would be able to apply all of that out here, take care of her family, um, and we'll harvest everything. Kaba forever is such a, it's a good goof. Okay, study hard. Good to know Hiroki finds working out fun. So I really can just send him on a jog and say, that'll help. That's good for you. Grab those tomatoes. And I think we're going to have fresh watermelon and lettuce. Very exciting. We'll probably plant a bunch of pumpkins because we're going to have the fall upon us pretty soon. Um, harvest all crops. And then purchase oversized crop seeds. I think we'll do pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a call. Uh, oh, it's our aunt. Okay, cool. I'm glad you had fun with a friend. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, plant oversized crop. Let's get pumpkin seeds in there. Thank you for that hydrate annex. I will absolutely get on it. Have you had a chance to open the game yet, annex? Check out the little infants and everything. Um, water all. Okay, might be time to jog home and take a shower, my guy. And as soon as we're done watering out here, I think we'll probably make a birthday cake for him. Clean out spoiled food first. We're done with all of the, um steamed dumplings that we had make a birthday cake let me see i would love to make the honey cake the thing that annoys me i think you have to have honey in your inventory to even make it um if you don't i'll make the honey cake but yeah you have to have two honey just let me buy the honey <laughs> i think we might do the matcha tea cake then sounds nice. It's like, oh, well, we had this for tea, so I can use it instead to make like a Depression-era butter cake. 
And here comes the man. Oop. Okay, Haru is going to be awake and ready for food soon enough. My parents drove me to my place today. Unfortunately, I'm constantly exhausted from everything. Yep, I updated all the mods earlier. Um, installed everything, not until I started playing a bit. Build items are gorgeous from the new pack. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm glad you think so, Annex. Legitimately, once you have the strength and, you know, the everything ready to play and build again, I'm so excited to see what you'll do. We've got back hair? I didn't know he had back hair. It's legitimately not a problem. I just didn't know. Did we not start making a cake? Oh god, the baby's upset. Oh god, okay. And the game is like, I gotta take a minute, I right? Why are you trying to cook? Why would you do that? Matcha tea cake? Make cake? Okay, she is making cake. Oh, we are angry. Let me out from being stuck. Haru wants out. Okay. Uh, Hiroki, please go get him. Oh, he's got... He's gonna do some demon baby shenanigans as well, almost certainly. The big frown! I'm working on a Spanish house right now. Got a Muslim couple with a baby. Only family where I can have an infant. Ah! Okay, let's let Haru out. And we can give him a bottle. Yeah. Let him out. Give him a bottle. He's hungry. Oh, he gotta do poopies. Oh, man. Food time. Haru is hungry. Feed him before his hunger gets worse. Let me out from being stuck. Awake and happy. Doesn't seem like it. Building a house for them to play a little infant gameplay. Ah, oh, that's so good. Love that. Oh, my guy, you said you were going to give him a bottle. Oh my God. And she's coming to check on him. At least, at least we finished the cake. Put some, put some candles on it, Val, please. You can go upstairs in a minute. Back. Welcome back, coffee. We are having baby troubles. Um, Haru, after jump scaring me, went to sleep and was very pleasant for a very good little while. And then immediately started causing trouble. So, we are trying to <laughs> contain the beast. Oh, man. Yeah, I had intended to do infant gameplay, but they came out right around the time that I was doing a bunch of grading. Um, and so, it was like, nope. First infant I'm really going to get to play with will have to be in decades, I guess. Okay, we'll use our diaper. Burping bubbles, extremely cute. A protein shake. Good, coffee. Okay, we used our diaper. We feel good. We feel loved. We feel adored. Well cared for. Excellent. We're an extremely stinky man now, but dad can deal with that. Um, okay, baby care. Let's change that diaper. And then the only thing he really needs is fun. And we can work on that. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to clean up from the bottle. Excellent. Hey, Papa, can we maybe play peekaboo with baby? Yeah. We can play peekaboo with the baby. Legitimately, it does seem like if you have an infant, they have to be the only thing you're focusing on. Valentina is expected at work. Okay, she paints. Chill. I slowly feel energized now. I'll eat later eggs and toast. Mmm, wonderful coffee. I'm going to let her take a bath. Legitimately, Hiroki has this. We can deal. Low fun need. Okay, um... Maparu. Slack off. It's okay. Raise that fun. Yeah, little baby. I gotta, I gotta figure out something to make him have fun. Um, baby care. Bubble bath. Bubble bath could probably be fun. Um, I really don't think there's tons that you can do with a baby. 
um, outside of growing together. Again, part of the reason I wanted to have a base game baby first, just to see what the difference really would be. It seems like a lot of the infant gameplay is locked to the pack. Like, we don't have any of the infant milestones like tummy time. I've not discovered any quirks about him. Um, I think the quirks might also be base game. But he is extremely sweet. What is with the low fun? Dad! What are we doing? I thought we were playing with him. Okay, we gotta, we gotta almost put this de man down and let him have fun on his own. Oh, <gasps> Kenichi wants to invite over his friend Erica. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's great. That's amazing. Um, Erica was the girl we met. Um, okay, Kenichi, go use the bathroom. Go freshen up just a tiny little bit. Um, use, take a super, we don't even have to shower. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm freaking out a little because I really like Erica. Legitimately, she's like one of two children we know. There she is. Hi. She looks very grumpy. Hold on. I'm going to cheat her. Make happy. Make happy. Don't be grumpy. I don't need that energy, okay? Okay. Um, make silly face. Talk about toys. Um, monkey around. We're gonna just queue up everything and then I think we're gonna play some chess together. Because normal children, of course, play chess. Right? I know, I know I did copy. I just didn't say it. Okay. Hiroki, you gotta put him down unless you're gonna play with him. Put him down unless you're gonna play with him. There is bath feed hand haru to where the fuck was hand toy this is the the hard thing like we can just do we can cue peekaboo a thousand times to build that fun need just a bunch of peekaboo he's probably gonna hate that after a while though yeah i don't think he liked it Give toy. Okay, okay. Give him a sheep? Like... We're finally putting him down. Don't worry, Ma. I'll expose you. Classic. Thank you, coffee. Just what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna pee. And then I think I'm gonna send Val down to start on some supper. Um, and then, of course, we have the cake. Okay. Um. Would it... Would it suck to have fish again? We're pretty good because we have fish. He is, I think, having some fun out here with Erica. Uh, we can talk about toys. I think... Okay, I really do want to try Play Make Believe. Um, I haven't seen the animations on that one yet. Okay, he's coming to check on stuff. Baby is just laying on the ground to try and go night-night? Don't do that, baby! Baby, you little fool! Baby, play play with toy. Baby, play with toy. Baby, don't. Baby, stop. Oh my god. Baby, play with toy that float in air, please. Baby, take float toy. Yes, yes, good job, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Baby, enjoy entertainment mommy buy for you. Yes. Yes, yes, baby, yes. <laughs> I will put you to bed in a minute, baby. Valentina just reached cooking level 10. Oh my god, Val. You are an absolute all-star. Um, I'm gonna have Val go put baby to bed. Giving him the toy was really all he needed to fill that fun need. Um, we might give him the boob for a minute. Um, yeah. Give him the boob for a sec, and then we can put him to bed. Excellent. 
Okay. Now, I will have Hiroki take us inside. We're going to call everyone to dinner. Um, call the meal. We will have dinner with Erica, which is really, really nice. Okay. Have baby had the boob? No, baby have not had the boob. You are not abandoned. She's literally in the room with you. Do not put him in the crib. Feed him first. Okay, some of some of the tuning could do with tuning. Don't go downstairs. Why are you going downstairs? Why are you going downstairs? Oh my god. Go back to the baby. Yes, yes, yes. Good. I do really feel like as soon as we age him into a toddler, things will be easier. It's just a lot of the baby stuff. It's hard. The Sims don't want to do it. Okay, now we're feeding the baby. That's great. He's going to be nice and full, and then we can put him to bed. Overstimulated. Too much is going on. Haru feels overstimulated. Me too, baby. Me too. Okay. Did you two have supper? Go have your supper. Go have your supper. Come on. You're good. Danny says, hi, I'm on the phone. Hey, Danny. Oh, God, made a new clip called Baby Stop. Yes, baby. <laughs> Good. Yes, baby. Yes. Baby Stop. Yes, baby. Okay, go have some dinner. As soon as mom have put baby down. Yeah, baby scream. Classic. Okay, let's... Soothe him, put him to bed so we can eat food. That would be nice. Baby, please release me from these mortal chains. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, come on, baby. Baby, go night night. And I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Okay. Go have dinner. Valentina also gets to have supper. Finally, I'm going to have Hiroki go sit. Excellent. Beautiful. We can chat with everybody else. Mom, finally get to enjoy dinner. This always reminds me um, decades where like the mom is around and doing things. It's always this one clip from um, the Christmas story movie where Ralphie's like, my mother hadn't had a hot meal in like 30 years. Oof. Okay, finally, finally. <sighs> the baby is gone. This is fine, this is fine. I'm gonna open a picnic for us. Um, picnicking is our community's version of heisting. If you would like to join us on the picnic, all you have to do to join is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. I am also going to pull out the birthday cake so that we can age Hiroki up. There we go. And here you go, Hiroki. Um, go ahead and make a wish. I think it's really, really nice. Okay. Yas, coffee, get in on that picnic. There we go. Okay, Hiroki. And there we go. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up lifelong goals. Yikes. Okay. We will also put cakes, candles back on that. Put that back in the fridge so we can use it to age up the infant. Poof. Okay. Easy peasy. Again, if you'd like to join us on the picnic, we have one going. All you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. Okay, 
Valentina, I'm going to send to bed. She is exhausted. I call it him free. <laughs> oh, coffee. Truly an artist. An artist with a brush. Okay, and then Hiroki, I will have you help Kenichi with homework, I think. Let your wife through. Yeah, okay. Enthuse about cake. Yes, absolutely. Listen, we are at the Mr. Ratburn level of enthusing about cakes. Ah, oh, Twitchy Squirrel, you just missed it. Don't worry, I didn't get to go on the picnic either. <laughs> Classic Streamlabs. Okay, good company from adoring someone. Happy about birthday time. Delicious dish. Yikes. You're getting good, good responsibility by doing your homework, Kenichi, okay? Yeah, responsibility is almost all the way there, then conflict resolution, and then manners. Annex, we just closed the picnic. You and Twitchy Squirrel barely missed it. Are we done homework? We are! Good! Good. Okay. Okay, let's do some dad stuff. We are enthusing about cake. We'll enthuse about fishing. Dad things, right? Bright and day. And joke about a funny family memory. It's a me and dino picnic. Very, very romantic. We love to see it. Uh, and then I am going to, I think, send him up to bed. Um, yeah, influence to sleep. Time for Betty boys. My god, legitimately the baby going down for the night. We love it. His needs are so good, I don't have to deal with him. And literally the next time we pop into the household, next stream, the baby's gonna be a toddler. I won't have to deal with infants again until Kenichi or Haru have children. Oh, I'm free. Truly, I will be free. When I grow up, I want to be a ninja. What do I need to do to start getting ready to be a ninja when I'm a grown-up? Ooh, start practicing your hiding. Yes. Emotional control, responsibility decrease. Are you sending him to bed? You're not going to do that. Okay, I will send him to bed then. I'll do it. I'll be the parent. Sims. At least you're watering. I can appreciate that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the infant update, I think, is necessitating a change to the way we play the game. Um, which is not a bad thing, but it's a very tiring thing. Harvest everything that we can, and then we will go back to bed. My beautiful fountain. Okay, uh, do we have to water anything? We can evolve the potato plants. Oh, never mind, those are sage. Fuck me, right? It's not bad and I cannot be <laughs> told different. Oh, wait, no, it's bad and I cannot be told different. It's hard. It hard. I think the Sims team said what, baby? It hard. Um, okay. And are we all good on these? We don't have to water. Cool. We are all good. I can send this man up to bed. Does he not work on Thursdays? Go to sleep? No, he does. He does work. Okay, go to work then. Why are you here? Is it because it was his birthday? This man is definitely coming down the road to visit our house. Ooh! He moved so fast. Oh my God, that did scare me. I don't play Sims to play a hard life simulator or even realistic simulation. I play because I wanna have fun. Yes, and if you can't have fun by having seven infants at the exact same time, what are you even paying for, right? There's so little that's fun about it, yeah. No, I fully get that. I think um, adding reality to the game is not fun for a lot of reasons. Um, and making infants so deeply difficult to deal with. But on top of that, right, they're fairly glitchy right now. It's hard. 
is a little hard. We don't we don't have fun. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm getting this man to bed and then we're calling it for 1936. The baby's awake. No. No. Fuck. Okay, I'm dealing with the baby. We're dealing with the baby one last time and then we're aging him up. Let me comfort you. Don't wake everybody else in the house up. Let me give you some food. Actually, we're not even going to breastfeed him. We are going to take him downstairs. I'm going to have him eat food one more time because I think it's funny. We're going to give him... Ooh, sweet potato. Yeah, let's do it. You like carrots, babe. Do you like sweet potatoes? And then we're going to be ready to age him up into a toddler. And then I don't have to deal with an infant in the game for like 20 years. Maybe not 20 years, but like a good long time. I thought I was free. I really did think we were going to be done. We were going to end on time at three for being done with Sims. The baby just pull me back in. Okay, I guess we are breastfeeding him. So he's probably not going to want to eat food downstairs. That's okay. This is fine. Oh. Boy, okay. We're happy. That's all that matter. Yeah, it's true, baby. Truly, the baby, the baby give me such a hard time. I don't know how the baby knows Marjorie. He has like a good friendship with Marjorie. It's so weird to me. Why, why do baby ruin everything? Baby, hmm? Explain. Do you have an answer? Oh, other thing. I don't know if you've seen it, Dino. Um, the infants and children are fairly glitched right now. Um, there's this glitch in the game where if you have growing together and I think your child loses a tooth, um, it will completely alter their genetic makeup. It'll scrunch their nose up and make their head smaller. So, like, there are multiple things wrong in the game. Yesterday, when you had him in cast and we're like, he's so cute. Look, look at the little man. I just couldn't flam. I could not. Yeah. No, no, no. I got you. Yeah, no. Does he like that? Does he like it? He's unsure about sweet potatoes. That's okay. You're going to eat the rest of it and then we're going to age you up. And then, as of next week, I'm just going to have to deal with a toddler, which we know and we love. I do think the animations are extremely cute. Age up, age up, age up, yep. Okay, uh, baby care. Is age up an option? Age up is not, a, age up is not an option. Okay, that's fine. We'll pick him up and take him to the cake that we saved for exactly this reason. I used to hate toddlers, never thought I would be thankful for them. The fact that the toddlers at some point become incredibly independent and can just move themselves around, we love to see it. Age up. I can't age him up? Go here. Bring the baby with you. Why can I not age him up? Okay, age up. I can't. How do you age up an infant? Infant Sims 4. Oh my god. Apparently, you can't manually age up an infant. They take five in-game days 
to grow into toddlers. But I have aging off in my household, which I guess means Yeah, you can't manually age up an infant. Um, you just have to wait. But the fact of the matter is, he was born more than five days ago, and the game's like, oh, you can't age him up. Um, so we're going to hop into Cass and have to age him up. We'll see if we can age him up in Cass. I don't play with aging on in my households because, like, Decades has very different aging than the base game. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, guess it has to be full edit mode. Yeah, exactly. Gee. That's wild. Yeah, no, that does feel like a stupid thing to have in the game. Like, for example, like, 100 baby players? You're just telling me that the 100 baby players would have to keep them as an infant for five days? That's terrible. That would really slow down the challenge. He does look so much bigger as a toddler though. That's why, he looks like Darren Chris. What the heck? Is that, <laughs> is that Darren Chris? Okay. Is it five days with short lifespan? That's a good question. I don't know. The one thing I saw, I think it was IGN, and it said five days. It does kind of look like him. It's got to be those eyebrows, I swear. Oh my god. Big fluffy brows. Let me give this baby boy some baby brows. Okay, cute, 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 cute. He did suddenly get very large. Um... Yeah, I think five days must be, like, the short lifespan, like, th the general setting. Um, let me see what we got. Does that give him a tail? No, it doesn't. Okay, excellent. Because those are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I actually like those quite a bit. Um, we'll do that. Some little socks. And little, little penny pounders. There you go, baby boy. Okay. And give him, like, a couple outfits. We'll do that. Back, when I got back, I felt pain in my back. I slept twisted. He looks like Donnie Yen for a second. Yeah, I thought he looked like Darren Chris for a second. Um, oh, little baby boy, okay. Take care of those shoes. Um, and then I'll give him... Yeah, okay, extremely cute. Coffee, we have just learned that you cannot manually age up babies in The Sims 4, or infants. You have to wait five in-game days, which doesn't like the time doesn't seem to pass if you're playing with um with aging off that's a problem i don't know if i've ever seen donnie yen i'll look him up um donnie yen oh he's cute yeah hong kong actor uh Credited for bringing mixed martial arts into mainstream Asian cinema. Ooh. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. It's miraculous to me that, um, like, simmers on Twitter haven't noticed that. Is everyone on Sims Twitter just playing with aging on in their game? Like... It's, it's so wild. He was Master of Bruce Lee in the movies. Ah, okay. Got he. Get another one of those on. Um, I do think his other everyday wear is also probably appropriate. 
think it was that one. Yeah. Okay. And then cold weather. Little man. Here you go. Okay, that's a cute little jacket. Get some little booties. And we will give him a hat. Yeah, a little hat. Okay. Maybe his, his grandma Margie knitted it for him. Okay, and then a little sweater. Little sweater man. Little sweater man with a backpack. No, no. Just a little sweater man. Actually, we'll use the same one that we had put um, on Kenichi. That way it's like a hand-me-down, right? Little sockies. Okay, and then little booty boots. There we go. I fell for him since he was fighting and protecting his family in the movies. He was my ideal type. Ah, gaudy coffee. Okay, little man. And your trait is independent, 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 angelic. Okay. You know, angelic is good. Um, idyllic, easygoing toddlers, never defiant. They don't throw tantrums. They can easily talk to strangers. That's so interesting to me that he had been a sensitive toddler and er, sensitive infant and grew into an angelic toddler wild <sighs> okay okay baby have age up um i'm not gonna lie again i don't know if it's because i found infants so exhausting or if it's because we're streaming on a weird day um i think we're gonna actually just call it early again rather than going till four and playing dreamlight valley I'm excited to have a toddler again. I can't believe I'm excited to have a toddler. Infants are hard. I really, really, I thought he was very cute. I think there are ways of working around it. Thank you for hanging out. Yes, we're going to be back to normal next week, almost certainly. Um, oh my gosh. We're also coming up on the 40s, which is a little scary and weird. It was super fun hanging out with you today. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm going to pull up the YouTube end screen. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry again for yelling at you. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Bye.